I don't like to make videos like this, but uh, this is one of those go grab your popcorn moments where you're gonna call me an idiot or an asshole. Just kind of how it is. But um, there's a particular YouTuber that may or may not have used a product called Sear Strips today. And I'm not gonna name the YouTuber, you can find it on your own if you so choose. But they said that this particular survival item, it said, I don't know about this survival item. They didn't really recommend it. They said it didn't work in good conditions. Yet they went ahead and gladly compared it to the Sparklight. It was a military fire starter. Everyone knows this one. I'm not bashing this in any way, shape, or form. But this particular YouTuber basically took a product that, whether they understood or not, was highly recommended on my channel. I have tested the ever-loving bejesus at his thing, and I've taken it on God knows how many camping trips. And I would trust this with my life. If I actually take out my wallet, which is my new EDC wallet, these sear strips are right there in my wallet. So this is something I keep on my body, keep on my person at all times. Now, conveniently, since we live in a semi-desert environment, I have this nice tub of water right here for some testing. Now, I'm gonna do what they did since I don't live by waterfront property. I have two sear strips here. And we're just gonna dunk them in the water. Additionally, I'm gonna take the spark light, take a couple of these. Take three for good measure. We're gonna dunk them in. Now, I'm not bashing the product, but it was clear bias in my personal opinion that this person said <coughs> that this person was kind of basically peddling their own survival kit. I don't blame someone for doing that. That's just good business. But what I don't think they understand is they were also bashing my survival kit, whether they understood that concept or not. I keep sear strips in this kit. As you can see, it's been in this water being completely submerged there's no way but he couldn't get a fire started now I'm gonna overlay his footage as well but basically this is what it did is he had it in the water and then kind of attacked it like that blunt force I mean even a naval general will tell you you don't tap the broad side of a ship kind of like that I guess so what we're gonna do is with this same wet strip you were gonna do something that I learned in the Boy Scouts, in the military, a bunch of different places like that. You can never, ever over process your tender. Because I'm of a mind that if you're in a survival situation, you need to be able to get a fire started no matter what, right? So let's try it and see if it works. Now it's a very windy day today, which is why I got my high quality microphone on. So you might be able to hear some remnants of the wind. Damn this wind. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and fight the wind. Use my wallet as a spot for a minute. Well, isn't that convenient? Pretty sure that was the same test he did, right? Couldn't get it started, huh? Now, I'm not saying they're a bad YouTuber or don't know what they're doing, but when you're purposely trying to bash a product that I push myself and I recommend wholeheartedly to my subscribers, make sure that you're not being a blother an idiot and not doing it the worst way possible. Oh, before I forget, we got the uh, spark light, quick tender tabs. We'll go ahead and fluff these up real quick. This wind is horrendous today. I'll use a... Huh. Try to fluff it up some more. 
I don't want to be accused of being completely biased as I would use this in my own survival kit. Huh. Interesting. <laughs>